Hey everybody, it's Herman. Got a videotape here of my Sigma DR7. First thing you probably notice is a little rust. Got a little bit in there in the case. That's my friend Christopher, he's helping me out. <laughs> my buddy. Got a little rust on the hinges. See that? Handle's still working. Good order. Dings on it. Let's flip it upside down first. Wait, it's been open yet. Good help with that. Here, hold that camera. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see, take pictures of the back of this. See how it's got little scratches on it. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, that's the original case. I gotta do it. Right. Yeah, now open it up. Get that buckle right there. There you go. And go. Oh, there it is. Nice old Sigma guitar. Let's see. Alright, I see a little something there, but that's just dirt. Where? Right there. That just rubs right off. That's nothing. It's got the slightest ever little pressure ding. I can't really see too good. And most of this is just dust. Hey, leave it alone. No, don't do that. Most of this is just dust on it. The guitar was stored. It is? Yeah, the guitar was in stores. The guy that had it never learned to play. Bought it in college. Had a guy who was going to teach him to play. And the guy that was going to teach him to play, don't break the hand, son. The guy who was going to teach him to play uh, ended up just playing it. But he told me, he said, if you buy a good guitar, I'll learn you how to play. And then he ended up just coming over and playing it occasionally. So the frets are like brand new. That's hardly been played. Uh, he had it for all these years. He finally came off of it. G, Dad, is this your GS baby guitar? No, this, is, this is the Sigma. This is the old Mustang. She's in great shape. The fretboard's like new. I mean, it's, it shows a little wear. I mean, not, not, it shows like it's been played very little. I mean, about like what you get out of the store if you were buying a demo guitar. Let's flip this thing over, Chris. Okay. It's beautiful, though. It hasn't been cleaned. I just, it's dirty right now. It's got dust on there. That, that rubs right off. Yeah, it's in beautiful condition. It's very, that's just a hair. Okay. Very light scratches on it. Here and there is dusty right now. I should have cleaned this. Let's see. That wipes right off. What is Alright, yeah, she's she's been sitting. But nope, oh, keep it out of the fan. <laughs> We've done that. Put it put a guitar in the ceiling fan. Yeah, this is rosewood on the back, and it's a laminate. Rosewood on the sides, laminate. And a solid, uh, solid face on there, spruce face. So it's all the original tuner pegs, original bridge. Pit guard's nice, hardly touched. Great condition. The binding shows it's it's a little yellow, like you know, it's got some age to it. But let's play this here. Take this, hold it, hold it for me, Mr. Chris. Let's play the guitar a little bit. I'm going to take pictures. No, don't take any pictures. Just point it. Did you turn it off? No. You see it. Don't push the button. There you go. Just point it at me. Don't push it. Get your finger away from me. You're going to be nervous. All right. Just point it at me. Ready? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Two and a half step down. I've been doing some uh, Zach Brown. Definitely do for you strings. This had a tune I can tell that I listened to. It generally holds a good tune though, and the tuners work great. They're real, real tight, original. It's a good guitar. It's a Martin Sigma. Plays good. Rosewood. And these are quite collectible now. What are you doing there? You're messing up. Getting quite collectible now since they quit making the, the Martin a couple of years.